If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please consider hitting the like button. It really does help the video out, even if I don't deserve it because I'm terrible at video games. And if you want to follow me on Twitter for absolutely no reason, the link for that is down below. Now, if you do need any coins, head over to u7buystore.com. Use the code TVM at checkout for a discount. The link is in the description. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to a brand new video and a, a comparison that... Honestly, a lot of people will go, no, you're talking absolute rubbish, lies even, some people have said in the comments in recent videos. Um, this guy is comparable to Midviera, and I don't care what anyone says because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the stats at the end of the video. We'll compare them side by side, like not go through it in depth because otherwise we'll be here for 20 minutes, but he's around 100,000 coins. Vieira, mid Vieira, the 88 rated card, is 2 million. Doesn't matter what platform you're on, he's at least 2 million coins. I used Sao for a fair few games in friendlies, admittedly, but obviously friendlies and the matchups that you get are determined by what division you're in. So if you play in rivals and you're in division 3, you'll likely come up against division 3 players in friendlies. That's just how it works. I am in division 1. That's not me trying to flex. I would imagine that most people are in and around that division these days. But just to point out that the gameplay that you're seeing against is against other division 1 players trying to complete the wild card swaps objective. I'm not too far away from it. I literally just need to score a couple of goals with Brazilians and I'm done. But I put him in the midfield because I thought, why not? Let's just leave him there as a CDM and see how we get on. Very good card. He can do a little bit of everything. Now, on paper, his shooting isn't particularly great, which is fine because he's got a high defensive work rate. He's got really good defensive stats, you know, mid-80s for stand tackle, slide tackle, uh, defensive awareness, that sort of stuff. His physicals are off the chart amazing for an 86-rated card of about 100,000 coins. His passing is very good. 96 short passing, 90 long passing for those cross-field balls, if anybody still does those. I do. Let me know in the comments. Do you still, like, switch it wing to wing? Uh, obviously, in the first couple of weeks of the game, that was the, the meta almost. Everyone was doing it. I don't really see that many people do it anymore. I still do it all the time. Uh, and he's dribbling, of course. Mid-80s for everything, pretty much. In fact, no, it is. It's, it's mid to high 80s for every single dribbling stat, which is really impressive considering, again, and I've said it a few times, but I'll say it again, uh, he is around 100,000 coins. That is a very impressive set of stats right there. Now, I, I mentioned the shooting wasn't particularly high. It doesn't necessarily matter that his finishing isn't that high because, of course, he does have a high defensive work rate. Most people are likely to play him as a defensive midfield player. But the other reason why it doesn't seem to matter is because he can still do things like this. That is unbelievable. From someone who has 75 long shots with 80 shot power, he is still able to pull that out of the locker. Now, of course, it does come down to the fact that those type of shots in FIFA are a little bit overpowered. It does determine what, or depend rather, what goalkeeper your opponent has. But for the most part, yeah, to be able to do things like that with this card is a little bit outrageous. Now, the title of the video and the whole point of the video is obviously to, not to compare him to Vieira necessarily, but it was... It, I, I suppose you could argue that it's clickbait, but if you really look at it and you do compare them side by side, which we will do, like I said, after the gameplay finishes and we talk about the card a little bit more, you, you can't really get away from the fact that he is as good as, if not better in some areas, than the mid Vieira. And what happens often with these comparisons is you'll look at them side by side and the player that you're saying is better or equal to has more in-games. But then when you look at it, they have in-games in areas that just do not matter. So for example, they'll have like 30 or 40 more in-games in the physical department or the defending when we're talking about an attacker. Or they'll have really good, uh, like, shooting stats if you will but they're a center back so it doesn't really impact the card and it sort of pads it a little bit but with Sao he has everything in the correct area he competes if not beats Vieira in Vieira yeah in every area they are unbelievably similar now a lot of people will argue that yes it's an icon he links to everyone Sao doesn't I agree fair enough some other people will say well it's the icon factor you know Vieira's slightly taller and he'll have that icon factor where he'll be just better than his in-game suggests. And again, I'm not going to argue with you there. That's where this card will lack, where the, the icon will probably beat him. So that's fair enough. However, he's got a better weak foot because I think Vieira's three-star, three-star. Sao has a four-star weak foot. And of course, 
He's 100,000 coins. Vieira is 2 million coins. That's the comparison there. Substantially more in-games for Sao. Unfortunately, you can't see it because the uh, review rating text is in the way. How embarrassing. But I think it's like 100 in-games more. He's got six overall stats more on the card. And the, the price comparison is laughable, in all honesty. Now... There are plenty of cards I could have compared him to, and that's not me rubbishing Vieira. Vieira is still an insane card, and he's still going to be insane in this game. But what I'm trying to say is, if you haven't quite grasped it yet, uh, this card is 100,000 coins. It, it is unbelievably good value. Even if you do what I've done and just go get the loan and use him in friendlies, you will not be disappointed. There isn't really a big negative. That's why I've left it blank. I, I could not find a negative worth talking about. Unreal. Links, maybe. But apart from that, honestly, he's absolutely fantastic. Let me know what you think of the card in the comment section down below. If you haven't enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and until the next time, goodbye.